Hey guys, it's me as the back on a and today I'm going to be making another Jujutsu Kaisen action figure and in the last video I made this, a Gojo action figure with uh, paper basically and today I'll be doing a Sukuna slash Yuji action figure so we're going to need basically this much white, purple or dark blue and then some pink for the hair Otherwise, if you've just got one color, then you can use alcohol markers or any sort of sign pins to color it out later on. So, first things first, we're going to be using this white tone for the skin instead of pink because Sukuna is pretty evil and pale skin goes well with evil. So, let's just start off with our... Oh, let's start with legs this time, you know, let's do something different. I'm going to use the Gojo legs as reference, so... Sort of like... We're going to make him the same height as Gojo, so... About that. Not long. That leave us with extra piece right there. Now we will fold this in half like that. And for Sukuna's pants, or it's more like Yuji's pants, we will be simply rolling it inwards like this. This is basically a little cylinder. Tape it together to make sure it doesn't open up. Do the same for the other one. Right, so like that, those will be our legs. Now, to make sure it's bendable, like all legs should be, I will be adding a fold right around the center, like this. I'll just press it in, cave it in actually, and then just make sure it's like, it's like a knee so you can bend it. Same for the other leg. Okay, right around there. And that's one technique. You can just send in two pens and then bend it. Right. Okay, not right. I need to bend this a bit higher. Somewhere there. Okay, so we've got two legs. Now. Now let's work on the main body itself. Just make sure you still have this. Um, okay, so for the torso, I will need you to cut this into a cylindrical piece like this, big, and then roll it around and make arms in a different way. Make arms in a this kind of format so you can bend it so I'll see when all of that is done okay so once you have these cylindrical pieces ready um, I'll quickly design it before we ship it because once we tape it it's gonna be very hard to draw over the tape and that won't be fun so 
So let me look up a reference to copy. Okay, so I think I know what it looks like. Um, actually, I don't. It's really confusing the tattoos at the bottom. Either way, we've got pecs up there. So we'll just make our abs down there. And then the tattoo goes right there. So let's use our marker for that. Sort of winging it at this point, just trying to follow the anatomy. Let's give him the Xmas tree back there. Alright, so that's gonna be the body itself. Now I also cut out this piece which I'll use to make the peck, so why not design it right now? We've got this right there. Some of these. And most of it will be covered up either way, so one right there. Okay, doesn't look that bad. Alright, that'll be most of our tattoo done. Now let's go to the arms. So for the upper arm, that is these two, we are gonna make just a circle circle and two lines so let's make the two lines then a circle so that'll be the upper arm and for the lower arm we've got similar stripes towards the lower end let's do it right in the middle okay now let's roll these things and let's see what happens All right time to attach our pieces together so let's start with the legs because I want to see how it turns out Take this one right there, like that. <clears throat> and that red thing right there is just my interpretation of it because I think it'll look really good. Make sure it doesn't come off by adding extra tape. Tape rolls like this. And I also think I should add some of these down there. 
just a tiny amount. Now let's add the arms together. I totally forgot I was recording. I thought I paused the recording. Um, all right, so let's add the final piece of the puzzle together. That is going to be the Sukuna's chest, right there, like that. Okay, we need his waist to be a little bit more slim, so let's just force it. It meets at the back, so let's just stick it there, and we are good to go. There it is. This purple thing is messing with my mind, it's ruining things a little bit. Maybe I should just take it out. I think it'll look better without the purple thing. So. Cancel the purple thing. Yep. 
That's cooler. Alright, it's been a while already, so let's just do the head. Let's just finish up with the head. Um, so, just like with the Gojo head, we are going to start with a plain white piece of paper. Just take a piece first and then we'll think about it. Okay, that's too big, so let's fold it. Yeah, that looks perfect. Alright, now we roll it and then we are ready to put it there. But we don't have a face yet, so let's get that done. So that's going to be our head. So let's design it. So first let's take some, some of these shading color. And that's pretty much all the shading we're going to do. So, let's take this. Finally a nose. Oh yes, we need to add the shading in the nose as well. And the nose tattoo. So that we've got Finally, a smile. Oh my god, this isn't easy. It's easy to mess up though. Nope, that wasn't what I was trying to do. I just looks happy. I want it to be a bit more evil than happy. Do that 
and redo the mouse. For the eyes, I'll use red. shade with a different color and that's our Sukuna face right there so we should be able to add it to the head but before that let's add some ears oh no we can't add the ears right now Let's try to at least, so that's our ears, I don't care anymore. Um, so next step, here, I'll do that off camera, we just have to cut a spiky little thing like this, and then attach it. So yeah, see when it's done. Alright, so that's about it. I also added these footsies instead of arms, so yeah, if you want to add the arms, go check out the gojo video and yeah that's about it for this video thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed i hope you got some inspiration to do some paper crafts and if you did don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video comment me down below what should i do next in my next videos and share my videos thank you bye bye